What's up people of the internet? I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the Silvermont architecture and part of the Bayer family of power efficient processors. It has two cores with no hyper threading of course and it has a burst frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD Graphics Pay Trail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a burst frequency of up to 792 MHz in the Celeron's case. It's also based on the same Ivy Bridge architecture as the Intel HD4000, weirdly enough. We also have 4 GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system and a 1TB external one on which the game that we'll be playing today is installed. As for operating system we're using Windows 10 optimized with the ultimate Windows utility tool. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I made a poll giving you the opportunity to choose which game should I test for this video and one of the options was Black Ops 2, which unsurprisingly won because, well, come on bro, it's a Call of Duty game and a great one on top of that. It was even requested by one guy, so I'm pleasantly surprised that Max Payne 3 isn't all that far off, for which you guys have my massive respect because it's a very underrated game that is definitely worth checking out even in 2023 and it's made by Rockstar Games on top of that. I promise to benchmark it too, don't worry. Some people voted for Arma 2 but uh, yeah, that game sucks to be honest. And as for Bro Hauer, well of course no one was going to vote for it. Also, one big note before starting, I originally wanted to play in Plutonium which is basically Black Ops 2 mood player but pirated, but I faced a serious problem and it's quite hilarious, hear this out. The Plutonium launcher requires DirectX 11.1, which the Celeron N2840 Intel HD graphics page rail doesn't support. There is a workaround with an app called DXCPL, which makes the CPU render the unsupported by the iGPU stuff but since the CPU has to do all of the rendering work, the launcher was so slow that I couldn't even log in. This is the N2840 that we're talking about after all. Seriously bro, what the heck? Like, did no one from the plutonium development team consider the fact that half of the people who are going to use plutonium have an old and slow PC in what is already a DirectX 10 game, I believe. So we will have to stick to single player mode, but hey, the single player campaign is also great, so I don't see what's the problem. Another note that I'm going to make is, uh, I'll be using high texture quality. Sounds funny I know, but I also tried it with low textures and even in the scenes where I was getting high FPS, I saw no difference whatsoever. So why not take advantage of this, eh? Anyway. Let's finally get straight to the point.
Apparently, the legendary Black Ops 2 doesn't run all that badly, as most of you are probably thinking. But there might be some who want more FPS. Now, the lowest resolution allowed by default is 800 by 600 but I'm going to show you how to run the game at an even lower one, so follow me. First of all, we need to return to the game settings menu. Now. Go back to the desktop by pressing the one and only Windows key, then right click and go to display settings. From the display settings, lower the desktop resolution to below 800 by 600. The method will be a bit different if you're still using Windows 7, 8.1 or an old Windows 10 build, perhaps some are using Windows 11. But if your display settings are the same as mine, just follow what I'm doing, ok? Go 
could just leave it at 640 by 480 but personally I prefer going down a bit further to 640 by 400 as it's a widescreen resolution. Also, for the love of god, don't go from 320 by 240 to 320 by 200 please! Finally, go back to the game and change the spade mode to window full screen. Voila! Black Ops 2 is now running at 640x400, so let's see if the lower resolution gives more FPS. For the cherry on top, I'm going to show you how Black Ops 2 looks like at the absolute lowest resolution that you should be playing with regardless of how terrible your PC is. 